Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. <laughs> to Save the World takes a little heart and a big Johnson. Good Lord, did those ad guys get served that tagline on a silver platter. Central Intelligence stars Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson as a pair of mismatched high school buddies teaming up to track down some stolen satellite codes while throwing punches and punch lines with equal ferocity along the way. And this movie is a heck of a lot of fun. While I took issue with a few of the aspects of Johnson's character and the spy plot played out a little predictably, the comic chemistry between Hart and Johnson generated constant laughs and the whiz-bang pace of the action story makes for a satisfying enough thrill ride for the heart of the summer movie season. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. Meet Robbie Weirdick, the character played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. As seen in the trailer, Robbie was an overweight, nerdy, bullied kid in high school and the victim of a mortifying prank his senior year. The only one to extend him any kindness was the most popular guy in school, star athlete, valedictorian, and most likely to succeed, all around great guy, Calvin Golden Jet Joyner. Now, 20 years later, Calvin is an accountant, passed over for promotion, unremarkable, unsatisfied. He doesn't even want to attend the upcoming high school reunion because he feels he'd never quite lived up to his potential. By contrast, Robbie Weirdick is nothing but living up to his potential. He worked out six hours a day every day for 20 years, became a CIA agent, changed his name to Bob Stone, and is now built like a brick you-know-what house, and is involved in life or death struggles with the fate of the world at stake. Now that's a great classic setup for a buddy action comedy, and the chemistry between the uptight manic heart and the cucumber cool bruiser of Dwayne Johnson makes for laughs in scene after scene after scene. I need your tie. You can... No. Your necktie, take it off. No, I'm not taking my tie Come off. Come on, Jet. Don't do that. Don't, <laughs> That's don't good. Do save that. it, save Stop. it, save it. Ow! Oh, oh, save it, Jet. It's classic cinematic comedy derived from conflict. They teach this sort of thing in improv classes. Hart is all, no, 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 and Johnson is all, yes, yes, yes. And the fun in each scene is seeing who will win in each battle of wills and how far the conflict will go. Bottom line, are you in or are you out? Okay, well, then I'm out. I'm sorry, Jet. Actually, you're already in. Then why would you ask me? Because I thought you would go, I'm in, Bob. And we would have had a really cool moment, but uh, you kind of ruined the whole thing. This conflict is so fun, it excuses the fact that the spy plot is virtually meaningless. The big twist is telegraphed early by what the late Roger Ebert, may he rest in peace, once called the law of economy of characters. When you see a big actor show up in a throwaway nothing part, you can kind of bet they're going to be coming back to surprise you later. Ooh, surprise! But the plot is adequate enough to serve as a framework for the real story, the bromance between the two heroes. Oh my God, what the hell was that? Bob, that was amazing, I've never seen anything like that. You took the one guy, you, you hit him like this, he couldn't breathe. You, I sat there, I'm looking at him, and you took the one guy, he's like, I don't like bullets. Kevin Hart is in classic Kevin Hart motor mouth mode, and he lands the best of the verbal punchlines with all of his nonstop improv riffing, which should surprise no one. What may surprise audiences is, here, he is really the most likable he has ever been. Downright lovable, in fact. It starts with him being the golden jet in high school and the only person who feels pity on Robbie. But in the current day, he's a family man who loves his wife, who gives his friend the benefit of the doubt, and is extremely capable at his job. His character arc is believable, and he's a very rootable guy. We get into a little trouble with Johnson's character, but that's not his fault. Johnson proves game for absolutely everything required of him, but the script requires him to be both a lethal badass and an affable pushover. I expected him at one point to drop the goober tendencies and reveal that that part of his personality was all just a cover, but no, in the end, he really is, deep down, the sweet, good-natured, insecure guy he was in high school with little self-awareness about how he is perceived socially that also breaks down international financial crimes. He's a guy that can kick five guys' asses at the same time, but when one little weenie from high school makes fun of him, he cowers in the corner in fear. His character traits don't jive well with each other and make for some slightly jarring transitions during the action, but he plays both the hard-as-nails brawler and the socially inept weirdo very well, and both personas have great chemistry with heart. It just sometimes feels like it's up to the whims of the writers whenever we get to see Robbie Weirdick or Bob Stone. 
But all these points are nitpicks because I laughed a lot during Central Intelligence and it proved hugely satisfying. Hart and Johnson spinning buddy comedy gold for just under two hours is a great way to spend an evening if you take it as seriously as the movie takes itself, which is not very much at all. Little Hart, Big Johnson, large bag of popcorn. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, while you're there, click subscribe, so you can keep up with all the latest episodes, and so we can keep the lights on around here. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and I will see you on the other side.